The American Heart Association is celebrating American Heart Month, and here on Cooking with Styles, all month long, we're going to be making heart-healthy meals. Today, I'm starting off with an Italian white bean soup. Let's get cooking with style. The trick to cooking heart-healthy meals is low-sodium, low-fat, or using good fats, and that's exactly what we're doing in this Italian white bean soup. I'm going to be using diced tomatoes that have no salt added, and we're going to be rinsing the beans off so we get all the salt that's in those out. It starts out with a little bit of olive oil. Remember I said good fat, so we've got a little bit of olive oil. We've got our red onion, and we're going to saute this along with some celery. Now you're probably saying, when are you going to add the garlic? We're going to do that in just a bit. And we're going to rely on all the wa wonderful flavors in here and not add any salt. So we've been going for about three or four minutes here. You can see the onions and celery are semi-translucent. To this, I'm going to add some crushed red peppers. I'm also going to use fresh herbs here. I'm using fresh thyme and oregano. And then we're going to add about a teaspoon of garlic. And this is only going to cook for about one minute. So I'll incorporate this. The heat will help the uh, flavors come out and expand. Seriously, you really don't want to let it cook for more than just a minute. You're just trying to open up the flavors in those herbs and the garlic. To this, I'm going to put my tomatoes in, my beans, and then we're going to add the chicken stock. We're also using low sodium or even salt-free chicken stock here. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this to a boil and then turn it down to a simmer for about a half hour to 45 minutes. So our white bean soup has been simmering for about 45 minutes. I want to show you what a simmer looks like. You can see that right there. Really, really slow boil. The other thing I want to make sure that we do, and if you get lucky, you can just kind of go into the pot and fish out all those fresh herbs. Don't worry about if some of the tomatoes come up and if you can't get them all out, just you know, kind of let everyone know, hey, you might find a stem in there. Don't eat it. All right, so to our soup, to finish it off, I'm gonna take some leafy greens. This is some Swiss chard, a little kale, and baby spinach. And literally, before we serve this, I put this in. I don't put this in and let it simmer. Just fold that, those baby leafy greens in. Let's head over to the counter and put this in a bowl. You really don't need to cook that spinach or whatever leafy green that you've got before you put it in because the heat of that soup, which by the way, if there was smell of vision would be incredible, will cook those leafy greens down. Give it a quick little stir so you incorporate all the ingredients. Get it into the bowl and man, I'm telling you this, with a little bit of French bread on the side. See that how I did the uh, European Union thing, French bread with an Italian soup? Now to finish this off, we're gonna take some hard cheese, a Parmesan. You could use a Romano, we'll put that on top. I should have brought a spoon so I could taste it. All right, there is your Italian white bean soup with some fresh leafy greens inside. We're talking heart healthy here. If you'd like this recipe, go to cbs8.com slash recipes. Enjoy.